Welcome back Toy Fam. We are here with another video covering some last little bits from San Diego Comic Con 2019 and we thought in our personal opinion we'll save the best to last and it is Mayfix and man they came out swinging. So let's see what they've given us. Tom, take it away my man. That's it. Now, disclaimer before we start, they technically weren't SDCC these. Um, I think they oh, were at right. a Japanese toy show but they dropped them at the SDCC time, so yeah, they're including them because they pretty much stole the show from a show they weren't at. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what we're doing. It. Yeah, uh, we'll start with the probably the weakest of the bunch, which is a repaint of the Amazing Spider Man yeah. comic version that they released. Which so, I they've kind of gone for like a cell shaded kind of more comic booky look. Yeah, so yeah, if you see the picture, which will be down there, and then him, yeah. and you can so, see the uh gone for a lot more of the yeah the shadowy comic book style yeah which is all right i mean i prefer the version you're holding up there that i've got that one as well i think it's a really great figure yeah um but this is quite good for the people that didn't get that one yeah or the people that just want something a bit different right, Absolutely. It's, it's exactly the same figure you're going to get exactly the same accessories mm -hmm. but it's you know it's good uh, there's definitely a market out there for it, so... Yeah. Oh, this will get yeah, snapped definitely. up as well. But anyone who missed out on the first, they won't worry about um, some extra paint details on it. Uh, it's the same figure. And yeah. it's a damn good one, too. Yeah, so, uh, if you want to come back in the frame, it's yeah. literally the best you're going to get. Yeah. Yeah, easily. Definitely. 100%. Uh, there's not much else to say on that. It is what it is. It's just a repaint. Um, mm. New stuff they hit out, though. Dark Knight Batman. Oh, yes. He, he looks quality, doesn't he? he Following does. in the footsteps of their Hush reveal. Yep. In the Hush Batman. They're, they're really diving into their comic book Batman bag. And I'm, I'm, I am here for it. Uh, you can see from some of these photos, they've recreated some of the classic poses, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it, they've come out freaking brilliant. I, I cannot. On, I've they? got this one on pre order now. Um, yes, I mean. Over at Toy Trash, um, I don't know if they've got any pre-orders left open because I know these things were selling like hotcakes. Easily, yeah. Shout out to Cam. Um, definitely check out Toy Trash and City uh, and get them while you can. These will be, like Tom said, hotcakes. Yeah. Uh, well, I think you need to get one. Um, mm -hmm. They're going to be big. Um, yeah, don't think about it. Buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because we've had the Mattel version of this, which was shit. Uh -huh. We've had the Mezco version, which a lot of people rave about, and I've owned all, th I've owned three of them so far at various points, and they they're good figures. Don't get me wrong, but they're not great, and they're certainly not worth the price that people seem to be paying for uh -huh. now on the second hand market. Um, whereas this, for an, an action figure photography point of view. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the best Dark Knight Batman you can get. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that soft good be... cape looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, it'll be soft good. It'll be a wide cape. Um, I'm assuming it'll be a wide cape. They generally are with yeah with Mayfax. From this picture, where he's yeah. jumping and he's flapping behind him, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that just looks like look at the comic book poses you can pull off with it. Like none of the Mezcos will pull off these poses. Nope. So, if you want something comic accurate that you can take some really, really nice photos with, yeah, this is it. What and those head sculpts look brilliant. Look, look brilliant, don't they? Look head sculpts are great. Yeah. They need to do a mutant leader. Yes. Yeah, but brilliant. That would be a really nice set. Like Mezco done that set. It would yeah. be good for, for Mayfax to do it. And I can see him, similar to the Spider-Man they've done, I can see him doing various repaints of this because obviously he had a couple of different suits yeah yeah it was different in dark knight strikes again when it it was blue was it my I can't remember yeah, the book name. which was very similar to issue one i think of the book yeah and but i think some of issue two maybe was the blue with the yellow oval yeah yeah that's right yeah and uh, uh kryptonite the, gloves please yeah Crypt, uh, yeah kryptonite gloves in the end with the armored suit mm -hmm. yeah so oh they need to do that yeah, oh, they didn't have the kryptonite, but did they? they had the kryptonite arrow from um, Ollie at the end. 
That's right. Who? That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which one? Six, no. One of them had kryptonite boxing gloves. Kind of thing. I can't was that one of the? The last... Sovereign Knight Mezco Batman's got like a kryptonite knuckle duster on. Yeah. Um, I think the armored Batman from this was just literally a straight up armored suit, and then yeah. the kryptonite came from the um, Ollie, the Green Arrow. Yeah. One armed Green Arrow now firing yeah. it with his teeth. So that was pretty good, cool. but that. Like that armored suit, he powered it from the mains from the city basically and gave him enough power to fight Superman. Yeah. That'd be a great suit to have, mm-hmm. especially if it comes with like a lamppost accessory with the wires coming out. Yeah. Like that would just be classic. But I'm hoping they dive into this line a bit deeper, and I'm hoping they dive into Hush a little bit deeper as well. Yeah, oh, definitely. No, like... yeah, go on. Uh, from this line, all I want, I want a mutant leader. I'm an armored Batman and I want a Superman. Yes. Then I'll be happy with this. And I wouldn't say no to a Carrie Kelly Robin. When, when yeah, yeah. Robin. I think that would definitely happen. Um, um, hush, I'm hoping they just hit the lot, to be yeah, honest. 100%. I'll buy them all. Yeah, because I want, I want a Jim Lee Joker, Harley. Like, I mean, Jesus Christ. Like, you've had pretty much everything in Hush. Like, you were missing the Penguin, I think. One of the main ones you were missing from Hush. But... Yeah, don't remember Penguin being Hush. No. But pretty much everyone else is in there. Um, you didn't have Two Face either, technically. You had Harvey Dent. Yeah, because they'd had. Uh, he had his wasn't surgery. He? Done. His surgery, yeah. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> for a, one, one of the best Batman back. stories I've ever read, uh, wrote, uh, read even. Yeah. Uh, next to the Dark Knight. If they'd have released this first, before the next thing we're going to talk about, I think it would have got a lot more press than it has. Yeah. They kind of bodied their own product with the uh, next reveal. Yes, because we have Peter B. Parker and Miles Morales right there. Soft goods. Soft goods coats, trousers, short. I mean, it's just... Fucking spot on. It's it a fucking really Catalina good. wine mixer. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, it's just... It, it is. looks amazing. Look at the stuff Mesco revealed. The king of soft goods. And then look at this. Yeah. And, I mean, Jesus Christ. You got a it's, it's a Mafex, yeah. so you have to kind of take it with a pinch of salt about how it's going to look uh-huh. when it's revealed, well, like yeah. when it's released, as opposed to when it's revealed. But Jesus, even if it looks half as good as this, it's going to be fucking yeah. banging. Do you know what? Take, take the soft goods away. Look at the head sculpts. Although they are just yeah, but this is the problem with Mayfax. Head sculpts are their biggest downfall. Yeah. They so can only get better, though. You know, in, in all fairness, you know, they, have, they have got a lot better recently. They're getting there. They're getting there. Yeah, they're not they're, perfect, but, but they are getting again, there. The bonus they got with this is they're not real life head sculpts no they're no. a cartoon and considering these are actually in look by the looks of things in a cabinet fully fleshed on stands that means those head sculpts have been made yeah so i don't know i mean obviously i know they put a lot of work into them to get these prototypes out but man if they put half as much effort into just the regular manufacturing as they have with these display ones which are physical as we can see in the picture yeah. Yeah. and i don't think we've got too much to worry about but yeah you're right tommy eight that they they've got that unique animation style yeah so yeah. do you think that... they'll continue this though the soft goods idea i really hope so on other think... stuff as well why they wouldn't if like the buzz they've had around this is something else. Yeah, phenomenal. Um, isn't it? I'd, I'd pay that little extra bit more if they need to charge a little bit more to cover the cost of manufacturing it. Um, I would. But th- this I, is I, the I, funny thing. Like, I've got Miles on pre-order at the minute because yeah. uh, <laughs> same yeah, Miles has, and it's worked out to be the same price as Batman for Miles. There you go. Uh, so I can imagine Peter being a bit more because obviously it's a bigger figure. Yeah. But not that much more. No. So it's not like they've gone... Like I thought Miles might end up being around like 100 quid. Mm. But it's come out, I think, £72. 
Do you know what's funny? You can't argue with. No. Isn't Mayfix coming out with a comic book Miles Morales anyway? Or is that yeah, someone else? They are. But the adult <laughs> version. Adult version, yeah. I was about to say they. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. I was about to say they. It's like, a bit of a different them, thing. But... And I mean, these are. But even, you've just got to look at the legs. This is like really stylized, like those knees. Yeah. yeah. Um, re- like, this is spot onto that animation. Mm-hmm. But it will fit on your comic shelf. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's nicely, wasn't it? Like, and it just looks cool like you going don't. straight on my spider shelf. Yeah. Um, I can't wait for Peter to go up, to be honest. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm also looking forward to seeing how what they're going to do with it. Yeah. Like, are they going to have like interchangeable legs? Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, is it going to be that you can take the joggers off, maybe swap it from the knees? Like, is it like spider legs above the knees? Yeah, that's what you mean, yeah. And then you can swap it out to have spider legs there. Good idea. That'd be an interesting one to see, but that might be a little while before that goes up. Yeah. Mm. But, I mean, both Miles and Batman are down for a May slash June release next year. So we've got a year. Uh, May, June 2020. Yeah. You look at these dropping. May, it's... It's Mayfax, so there could be a decent delay on it. But it kills me to have to wait that long, but I can't wait to get them. Good. Definitely quality, aren't they? No, without and a doubt. And this, this may be my first Spider-Man. Bloody hell. So all three of us have got these on pre-order now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We get all oh, review it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I, I, I may get a Spider-Man before then. I don't know. But um, it just looks amazing. You're it was the soft the Jeff Knight monkey, aren't you? Oh. I I quite like the yeah, the May, the Mayfax one actually. We we re- reviewed it the first of this video. I really liked that, and I and I and I'm just I'm in an hour to pull that trigger because it just looks spot on. But you know, I I know there's been some QC issues with, um, just, with yeah 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 yeah. Um, That's just it. It's got. A... Be a little bit more delicate, and I think Mayfix are better looking figures than SHF without a doubt. But the build quality isn't there. Like SHF, yeah. I'm never worried about messing around with them. Whereas Mayfix, every time I move that leg, I'm like, oh, <laughs> hang on. I'm still like that with my homecoming, man. Just a wow. ratchet noise. <laughs> my homecoming's in a drawer at the minute because uh, it's got a snap peg and then Mayfex got back to me today saying that it's out of the warranty now so they're not interested in sending me a replacement oh. wrist peg. Fucking which joking. is a chain. So I'm probably going to have to buy one of the bootlegs off eBay and using the peg from that. Mm. Yeah, no point getting a re-release of the homecoming. Um, no. Just get a bootleg. Yeah, it's just I, just want it, I don't even use it that much. I just want it sat on the shelf with the Marvel Legends MJ. Yeah. Just yep. that and then I might get Night Monkey to go in there and all. Be careful of your shop displays, guys. There you are, mate. Yeah. But, yeah, getting back to these Spider-Verse ones, there's a couple of shots there with the, um, the close-ups of just the, like, the head sculpts. Yeah. And oh. they've really captured that kind of animation look. Yeah. They're spot on, aren't they? And, but even just like the five o'clock shadow round Peter's face, you know, yeah. like it's really quite well done. Yeah, that's quality. Absolutely. And then Miles, I mean, like Miles has got interchangeable feet. So uh, he can whip the boots off, put the normal spider feet on. Yeah. Peter, I'll take the coat off, and you've got a Miles Morales, you know, like a normal Ultimate Spider Man. Mm. But you can whip the clothes on like that, and it just looks, it looks quality. Yeah. Small zips as well. Small zips. Yep. It makes a nice change. Unlike uh, Mesco, your hideous Ghostbusters and a class of zip. My Wolverine that I've got upstairs. <laughs> See, D Mesco, small zips do exist. Just got to go to the right person. I wonder who they got in touch with. I don't know if they sourced an outside person to manufacture their soft goods or if they've uh, just gone in house and decided to. Get the sewing machines out themselves. I mean, well, I mean, for me, still, anyway, the kings of uh, 
really the kings of decent 112 Taylor and a 3 A. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, without a doubt. But these guys look like they're catching up. Mm. And they, Hopefully. It's I mean it's a it's a mayfix, so we're gonna have to take it with a pinch of salt until we get the figure in hand, you know. Mm-hmm. You never know what you're gonna get, but I've got a good feeling about these. Yeah, definitely. So I think we can all agree they were the best of show for a show they weren't at. Yep. Stole it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah, roll on next year. Cannot wait to get these in hand. Oh, yes. Yeah. Anyway, I think that will wrap it up for our coverage, not only of the Mafex, but of the whole lot that, even though these weren't part of the San Diego Comic Con, they dropped them at the same time and they blew us all out of the water. Um, yeah, so that will be it for our coverage. Let us know what you guys think, what you're excited for, what you're not excited for. Let us know all of it. As always, I am Ben Piper, Project Piper Customs. I'm here with Tom Green from Tom's Dioramas and our captain, Carl Smallridge. Check out our website at plasticactionuk.co.uk. That's a hard one to say out loud. And our social media is on Facebook and Instagram. And, of course, the channel you're on right now, YouTube. Give us a subscribe and a like. We would be very kindly accepting if you did. And, yeah, check us out on our own social medias as well. Tom, where can they, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me... Uh, Instagram at Tom's Dioramas and Tom's Toys and Art. Uh, Facebook, I've got a Tom's Diorama page as well if you want to go and check that out. Excellent. And you are a panellist on the Infinite Articulation podcast, which is on Sunday. Uh, Every Sunday night, 8 o'clock, GMT, if you want to Mm -hmm. listen to to more great men talk about toys. (laughs) But with different accents. (laughs) (laughs) The Dolly mixtures. Yeah. And yourself, and yourself, Carlos. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram, uh, plastic underscore action, and you can find me on Plastic Action UK on our website. You know, check out the figure shooting, but you know, check out the uh, we've just updated the uh, UK toy photography, so we've got a lot more shots on there. So check all those out. We've got plastic, um, plastic actions artist of the week. Um, if you like Transformers. Keep stay tuned because you've got a, a guy coming on there who is absolutely amazing. No more said. Absolutely. Keep your eyes peeled and stay That's tuned. It. And you can find me at Project Fiber Customs on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube as well. Uh, definitely check that out. And yeah, that'll be it. Wrapping it up. Thanks very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. You've been awesome. Roll on New York Comic Con and stay tuned for our Broken Shield Challenge video. But oh, all three yes. of us have a go. At making cats broken shields from endgame with three different methods, three different results, <laughs> and one shield to rule them all. And the fun part is you get to decide who wins. And uh, yeah, I'll be dropping soon. Take it easy as always, guys. Plastic like action. Bye. Bye.